Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. It is a huge astrological month. It is important, not just in the context of this month, but in a larger context as well for this year and well beyond this year also. So what's so big, so monumental? Well, it is the move of Saturn out of your sign. So it's not just the fact that Saturn's changing signs, going somewhere else, but the fact that it's leaving your sign, that is also a big deal. This is an exhale, a shift of energy that I think you'll be really grateful for. So that move of Saturn happens right around the 22nd, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Now, do keep in mind though, that this is just a taste. It is gonna be July 1st that Saturn will retrograde back into your sign, and it will be in December that Saturn leaves your sign, not to return for over two decades. So you won't see Saturn again in your sign for a good long while. And it is now that you will embark on a journey where you will take all the wonderful and valuable things you learned about yourself with Saturn in your sign and begin to apply it outward to move yourself towards the financial reality that you desire and the financial stability that you desire, but also to affirm healthy self-love, self-esteem, and self-respect. Now this process and what this may mean for you, not just now, but well beyond now, well, it is going to start to become clear. It is going to be accelerated at the very end of the month when Mars meets Saturn in the sky. Now, this is what astrologers call zero degrees of Aquarius, and it is the very beginning of the sign. It will be at the same degree that in December, Jupiter and Saturn will meet in the sky as well. And it is gonna be right here at 2023, 2024, when Pluto's gonna move over this chart point also. And all of this says that it isn't just about what's happening now, but you will be revisiting it, seeing the events that transpire at the end of this month differently again and again and again, and always in important ways. So pay attention is what I'm saying. See where it is that your heart calls you, where your spirit calls you. I will have Saturn special horoscopes coming up very soon in the early part of March. So be on the lookout for that on YouTube. I hope you absolutely love the overview. And of course, I hope you love the special horoscopes that I create as well. Now we have other things happening this month also. We do have the full moon taking place right around the ninth of the month. I think you will love this full moon. It is happening in fellow earth sign Virgo. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter and with Pluto in your sign. And it is this part of the sky that speaks to understanding your place in the world, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, all of that is covered here. It may feel like if you've been in an ongoing process in any of these areas, things are culminating now. Things are coming to fruition. That's what full moons mean. Now, I would also add there is that, uh, there is the fact that Neptune is standing across the sky from this full moon. And what that suggests is there's a sense of flux, a sense of change. And for some people, there may be a sense of uncertainty, perhaps sadness, perhaps disappointment. But given how positive these other alignments are, it tells me that things are changing for the better. And so, for example, it could be that you are given an opportunity to relocate at this time. You're really excited about it. You know it's a power move. You've wanted it. You're moving towards it. And yet there's also sadness for letting go of where it is that you have been. It is possible now that you may be culminating or finishing up some educational journey and that's really exciting and it helps you to feel strong. And yet there's also that sense of nostalgia, knowing that this particular journey that you've walked is going to be over for now. Now, regardless of how this energy comes together, know that this is a valuable time, a time of clarity as to understanding your place in the world, a particularly philosophical time. And so yes, cultivate those philosophical skills to make sense of it and navigate through it making the best, not only of this moment, but knowing that you're moving in a positive direction.
Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, and it will be speaking in harmony with Saturn, newly in a brand new part of the sky. And so what that tells me is that there is a sense of a long-term perspective. There is a sense of stability. For you, this is playing out in matters that have to do with where you live and how you feel about it, wanting a new beginning that allows you to feel more stable and secure. This may also be related to your relationship with your family of origin, your parents in particular. And so it does look like you are making smart decisions, rational choices right about now to connect with your family of origin and to be present for your parents. I also love how this part of the sky is connected to feeling at home within your own body, within your own skin, and it looks like you're about to have a fresh start that you can feel in the most practical ways. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I have to say, I think you're going to be so happy with the energy this month. Right around the 5th is when Venus will move into fellow earth sign Taurus. Venus is especially strong here, likes being in here. And it is Venus that will, in the first part of the month, connect with Uranus, bringing surprise developments, and then moving on to some truly lovely, romantic, and sensual connections with Jupiter and Pluto in particular. So there's a lot going on here that is very exciting. This is Venus moving into a part of the sky that has to do with flirtation and romance and what the heart truly desires. So as you can see, chances are you will be feeling the love right where you are. So if you're open to meeting someone new, you will be getting your flirt on. I do think you will be enjoying yourself. There'll be lots of opportunities to have fun, to be with others in ways that feel rewarding. And so I would say embrace the opportunities. In fact, I do think there may be a flirtation in the first part of this transit, in the first part of the month, that really catches you off guard, but could be especially delightful. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I think that there is going to be a whole other perspective on this person that visits you in the first half of the month. It may either be absolutely enlivening and things could change quickly, or it would not. <laughs> it could really feel as if you're ready to go in a whole other direction. And it really is okay either way because there are lots of options available to you where it comes to matters of love. And in the second part of the month, there's a lot of sensual energy there for you as well. And if it is that you are in an established bond, I think this energy is going to encourage you to enjoy your partner that much more. Lots of lovely romantic moments are likely to find you and a real sense of connection on a heart level. These moments of connection, these moments of awakening, they should be cherished, especially if you are in a long-term relationship because it is these moments that remind you what connected you in the first place. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. I do love that Saturn is leaving your sign. I think that's gonna shift your energy in ways that you'll feel very quickly. But I do really love that full moon uh, right around the ninth because it is so harmonious, because it is so powerful a time. It represents the world opening up to you in important ways and in ways I think you will love very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is actually a really good idea over the course of March. March is a very active and very important astrological month, and I'll be talking about it every step of the way at NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes this month. There are two series of special horoscopes coming out in March, the Saturn special horoscopes and the Venus retrograde special horoscopes as well. So lots to look forward to there. And there's so much more, and I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.